Hey guys, let's talk about this rat issue for a minute. Oh wow. <laughs> that ain't gonna do nothing but cause problems. But anyways, um, so we have been combating the mice mostly in the beginning. Maybe some rats are getting through now, but the mice and definitely rats have been seen. And we have bait stations such as this one all around the building. We have them and they are monitored. Bait boxes there, you can see one there, they're all around the building, okay? Our building is pretty well sailed off. So we've already, because we've gone through this a million zillion times, we've already know some of the tra tracks that they are following and where they're going. This whole idea that all of a sudden they just showed up because the roofers were here and left the door open, I'm sorry, gentlemen, it doesn't cut it. Rats are nocturnal. They don't really come out. Yeah, they might come out. Sometimes in the middle of the day you might see them. But even if a rat ran up here, where would it come? There's no holes. I don't know why this is like this. I'll put that back real quick. There's no holes for it to go down. Nowhere for it to run. We're all sealed. The only place it could go it would be trapped in here if the guys were working. It would run up these stairs, again, to nowhere, to just another hallway and out the, the roof. It did not come in this way. It cannot get to the basement and into the, any other parts of the building through this entrance entranceway. So, I'm sorry. Now, if we'll just listen to me, I will show you what's going on. Hold tight. I'll be right back. Okay, so as you know, the downstairs and two upper floors, or Rob, maybe you don't know because judging by your email, you thought we haven't been dealing with this, and we have been, sir, <laughs> a long time. I've had to come here a few times. Granted, there were mice calls, but they're still rodents, rats, no matter how you look at it. We've had calls numerous times for units 1R, 1L, uh, 2R called once. And uh, while we were doing that, you know, of course, we come in and we try to find out where they're coming in. And this is just like in Beacon Hill. I've been doing this 30 years, maybe under 20-something. I might be over-exaggerating. But I've been doing it long enough that I've been chasing rats through Beacon Hill and through um, the underground tunnels over there. And I've been working with extermination teams, and I know what's going on in the city of Boston with the uprage of new rats being exposed, etc. Let me show you something. See these holes? See all that? That all goes under your, under your walk, out front. See that? That's all outside, okay? This is where they come in. They run the front of the building. They got a whole channel, a whole city block underground out in front to run they can climb up there they can climb through the pipe holes the gas lines going up to the units they can wiggle their ways through the walls and get into any part of the building from this point the back way they're not getting in this is where we have been focusing on where Paige is exterminating and they're adding bait traps and we're putting poison and there's one right now so they're coming on the 21st so they're going to come around they'll rebate they'll see if there's any action they're going to go double duty in in 2l for us but this is where your problem is this is where they run through the building from this area so all we can do is this i sent an article that shows the explosion of the rat population in Boston and Cambridge. In that article, it specifically states Cambridge Street. In particular, Cambridge Street is an explosion of rats. So um, what happens is you can come in and you can bait, 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 kill, kill, kill. But by not killing the rats that are maybe, you know, the nests that are way down and they're still populating over there, you'll kill them off temporarily and they'll come back. 
and they're going to work their way back and they're going to sniff the, the other roots that the other previous rats were taking. Sniff them out and go right back into the units, come back into the building because they're not being exterminated outside of this building in the city area. They're just being repopulated, reborn. So if you don't keep a quarterly extermination going under contract of sort in order to get all the buildings, keep them safe and keep it, it's called preventative aspect here, you're going to always face a comeback of mice. You can't just go in, exterminate, I killed it, and walk away and think you killed it. No way. They're going to come back. They will continue to come back. This is why Boston's in build, uh, uh, buildings in Boston and Cambridge are always, for every, I haven't seen one that hasn't been under quarterly contracts to make sure that you keep coming in and bait and capture and bait and capture and remove, bait, capture, kill, bait, stick, poison. It's a non-stop fight. And it's, it has nothing to do with cleanliness, has nothing to do with anything really. It has to do with the article that I sent you, if you read it, of the overpopulation. There's nothing that you can do but preventative. Okay, I hope this helps a little better because I'm starting to get driven crazy by this, to be honest with you. Bye, I love you.